Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I am Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Drew Estate Studio. With me today is Jude Lou, Seth Geist, John McTavish. How you guys doing? What up? Doing well. Race to the end of the year, man. Almost there. Yep. So today we're talking about the Foundation Charter Oak Cabano Torpedo. Cigar is six inch by a 52 ring gauge. Comes out of the Tobacco Era AJ Fernandez factory in Nicaragua. Uh, wrappers Ecuador and Habano, binder and filler both from Nicaragua. It is blended by Nicholas Melillo. Price point is seven dollars. Uh, cigars released in September of 2020, and we picked these cigars up from Lake Country Cigars in Wisconsin. So go to lccigars.com. You can find their phone number. You can give them a call. They have a great inventory. You can tell them what you want. They will sell it to you and ship it to you. So just do it. <laughs> just, All right, June. Do it. <laughs> just, just they do may it. pre-cut your cigar. Some, if you ask, they'll pre-cut. All right. June, what was your overall thoughts on this one? Uh, I thought it was average through and through. Um, uh, I had this like burnt cedar, toasted cedar note. So it got like this like char wood vibe to it. Um, good amount of white pepper, roasted anitas, um, you know, uh, but just, I mean, I, I basically just named three notes. And whenever I kind of named those, you know, more those kind of like earthy spice kind of notes, um, I typically will think of that cigar as something that's more average, um, but uh, you know, nothing I'll putting about the cigar. It's just a right dab in the average uh, mark for a, um, was this a anniversary one? No. You said? <laughs> just, oh, okay. Just to try real Cubano. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm done. It's up for your thoughts. Shit. Um, listen, me medium body and strength cigar uh beginning to end um i kind of thought it was it was average it smoked the same from start to finish um cedar red per red pepper earth um some some wood notes nothing nothing complex i got some i think i got some cashew note or some like nut qualities in the first third it wasn't bad just kind of average from beginning to end john yeah i think these are tasty um it's it's a deceptively simplistic looking cigar. I mean, the uh, the bands are not quite at the same level of you know the way Wednesdays and and some of the other releases that they've done. Um, it's it's an okay looking cigar, uh, but I think it really hides the deliciousness that's underneath. And um, you know, for me, I really like the line, and I think the torpedo performed really well. It's you know, the first third was lots of complexity with baking spices, creaminess, um, biscuity wood combination, which was really nice on the palate. Second third, a lot of cream and baking spices matching strength. Again, biscuit and cedar, a um, little bit of baking spice accents. And then the last third kind of lost a little bit of still pleasant, you know, baking spices, wooden graham cracker, but really lacked the complexity in the first and second third. Um, I know this will shock everyone, but it's an AJ Fernandez cigar. So construction was excellent. Um, had a little bit of a resistant draw to it, which you pretty much expect on a torpedo. Um, but, you know, overall, I had a I had a good experience. Aaron, walk us through your experience. Yeah, I think this cigar walks a fine line at times of being nuanced and flavorful or a bit stale and light. Um, and I think it will be a bit divisive in um, kind of how it's perceived by people who smoke it. Um, for me, first half of the cigar was pretty nice and how the flavors kind of transitioned and increased in fullness. Um, second half was interesting because it took a pretty rapid decline because um, the nuance started going away. And then the char in the final third um, just was built up and was a bit of a disappointment. Um, I definitely recommend this card to people. I mean, the price point's attractive. Um, the flavor's good through the first two thirds, at least. Um, and I have no problem smoking it again. Um, I'm very interested in maybe trying some of the other Vitolas just to kind of get a feel for if, you know, if this is the best out of the line or if there's maybe some other sizes that, you know, kind of play around this um, enjoyment level or maybe a go above. So um, I think it's seven bucks. It's an easy try and just smoke it, see what you think. All right, let's get into the scores. We're going to start at the top with John at 6.52. I was next to 6.37. Point three seven. June gave it a five point six five, and Seth gave it a five point five five. So John had that six point five two matchup for you. Yeah, I think it matches up well, and I, I liked your way of putting it, uh, walking a fine line between nuanced complexity and staleness, and I think that's pretty accurate. I, I think it is a very nuanced cigar, and you have to reach for it at times. Um, but this is not new to me. This line's been up in Canada for quite a while, along with the Maduro, and I've had my opportunity to smoke a substantial number of different Habanos and different Vitolas, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the entire line. It's It's definitely for me. Yeah, my 6.37 matches up well. I mean, it's a good flavor profile, had really good construction. Um, that final third was just a, you know, a bit of a 
far drop off for me. So that kind of is a bit of a bummer. Um, but at the price point, it's not going to hurt if you have to, if you just set it down after the second, third. So, uh, all right, June 5.65. It was, uh, I mean, it was average score. Um, yeah, it was very average. Kind of like how I feel about Nick's new releases this year so far. <laughs> all right. So 5.55. Yeah. I mean, listen, I, I thought it was average. It wasn't something that I was wowed by or really liked or would come back to um i think john you're probably going to get into it when you look at like the the value score compared with like the elbow wednesday five years um it's much better um you know i probably would just go to something else but i think if you really want you know if you get into it for nick it's really good price for what it is yeah all right final thoughts on this one the uh, Maduro is a pretty good performer too. Um, very similar in the sense that uh, for Maduro, it's it's very um, restrained, which is nice. So it's you know it doesn't have that heavy palate coating flavors. It's not overly sweet. It's um, it's quite nuanced and delicious. And yeah, I I think he um, I think he's created a bit of a juggernaut with the uh, Habano and the Maduro, and that they they outperform their price points for me, anyways. Yeah. I think it's a good, uh, you know, good value line for him in all the in all the different iterations. So, you know, it's um, I don't think any of them are like disappointments. I think they all, you know, provide value for what you're paying for them and what you get out of them. So, yeah. All right. If you're just catching this video on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to us. We'll also check out the full written review on the website developmentpalace.com. Follow us on the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, so iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Bye, man.